friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about some Aero perfumes that I've received in the mail. We have maybe five or six fragrances here and they're all from a brand called Latafa. The story of how these came to be was I've been posting an Aero perfume series on TikTok reviewing popular Arab fragrances and funny enough, Latafa actually reached out to me and they sent me these and it came with a note and I threw it out. I wish I didn't throw it out. A little key card note that said like, Dear Emma, I know you don't like Latafa. Maybe these will change your mind. So literally the founder of Latafa thinks that these will change my mind. And I'm already gonna tell you, I looked up the notes to some of them and I don't think they will, but maybe they will. We'll see. Also, I will say I do have another era perfume videos coming up soon. I did a huge order from Aroma Concept, so I have a bunch coming in the mail, including like different brands like Teske and Paris Corner. So hopefully that'll be good. Let's get into these. We're gonna start with this one. It says Aja Yeb Dubai. I'm gonna guess this is more masculine just because it's darker and stuff. Kind of looks like it would be a more masculine one. I'm noticing that the cellophane is not super tight to the box. Like if you can see, it's just a little more loose, which causes the box to be overall a little more wrinkled, but it's okay. Oh, it already smells good. Oh, I pulled off the cellophane and it pulled off a good amount of the bag. Okay, this is definitely smelling masculine. Oh my f God. You can't see that. Wait, hold on. You guys have to see what just came off. Okay, so I just pulled the plastic wrap off of this, right? What is that? This little bug just came out. It was not there before. I take off the plastic wrap and there's this bug. That's disgusting. That is actually so gross. I do not know what to do with the dead spider that came in this. That is so gross. I think I'm gonna film a TikTok. Okay, that was a little off-putting. I can't lie. There being a spider in my package killed my vibe. And I, I don't know if I want to include that in the video. Anyways, let's smell the fragrance. I'm not even that scared of spiders, thankfully. Oh my god! Sorry, I just opened, I opened the box and some other black thing flew out. I'm just like, I'm opening it so carefully. Like, I don't know if I trust like that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> kind of cool looking. So this is AJM. It's kind of cool. It's like clear on the sides, black on the front. It is a really cool, funky looking bottle. Yeah, it's leaked completely. That's why, like, do you see how much liquid has come out of that? My packaging experience, I would not say has been the greatest. I cannot lie to you. It has not been the greatest experience so far, but it actually smells good. The bottle is nice. Other than the fact that it's leaking, is it leaking around the top too, like here? Yeah, so maybe the atomizer isn't like screwed on right or something. This cap has been on. It's not been sprayed or pumped. So that's not great. Let's smell the fragrance. Let's see if it's a dupe for something. It's really nice. I'm getting like a warm, ambery kind of oud scent. It's very masculine. The bottle is honestly really cool. This is definitely the kind of fragrance I feel like you could wear it to work, you could wear it out. It's strong and it's very reminiscent of something I've smelled before. It's like a stronger, spicier, stronger with you. I've gone over this so many times, but like I am just a little headache prone. This is a little strong for me. It's giving me a bit of Jazz Club, a bit of XX from John Varvatos, which used to be one of my favorite scents. It's actually quite good. It's just a lot and I wouldn't be able to wear it myself, but I think that would smell so good on someone. Yeah, I like it. I like it and I recommend it. Okay, next one we have is Bayan. I will say their packaging is pretty cool. Ooh, the presentation is so fancy. Wow, this is definitely a fancy looking bottle. I think it's really, really pretty and matches my jewelry. Sweet, oud. This is kind of probably exactly what you would have expected this to be. This is like a sweet saffron oud. It's a little sour, but not too sour. Unisex, earthy, there's a lot of moss. I looked it up and apparently there's like an opening of lychee and pink pepper and cassis. I don't know if I really smell that. Oh, you know what I do? Upon respray, I like the fresh opening notes, but the dry down is just not my kind of thing. Again, like it doesn't smell bad by any means. It's just like not my kind of fragrance, but I don't think it's bad at all. And I think that like already from smelling it, I can tell you'll get projection and longevity. Okay, this is the third one. This is Ajayeb Dubai. So this fragrance doesn't actually like, it is not secure at all in the packaging. I just opened it up and it's, packaged like this. So that's how it's packaged. 
I think that the packaging is beautiful. Like the bottle is gorgeous. I love it. It reminds me of, um, I don't know, something I feel like I would see in Italy. Just the windows in Italy. I don't know what the, what do you call this kind of glass? This like, it looks like it would be stained glass, but it's not. Okay, already if you're smelling nozzle, I can't smell too much, but I'm getting like fruity. I'm wash sunshine woman is what I'm smelling through the atomizer before I've sprayed it. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. Fruity. Tropical. Strong. It's not very sweet. It's just kind of... It's giving me a bit of a headache. Strong and earthy. Um, I think it's so beautiful and I think that someone could really like this. The bottle is beautiful if you like these like mango scents but you want a fruity scent that's gonna be super long lasting, really project powerful. This will probably be your girl. It is just not my perfume. Like mostly, so far the one I've liked the most has been the original Ajayas. Next one that we have is Bare El Oud and this one is very obviously looks like an Inicio, an Oud for greatness. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're going for here but this one definitely has the best packaging so far. Packaging, oh, the packaging even has like a little card at the bottom. The bottle is gorgeous. You can see this um, gold only extends to the three sides. Atomizer is good. There's no leaking here. It looks clean. It looks like a very nice, good product and it's decently heavy too, so it feels very fancy. <laughs> Ooh. This reminds me of Burberry Hurt, except it sm smells more like mango-y than strawberry. Mm. Oh, it's really pretty gourmand, warm, brewed. It smells so familiar to something. Narcotic Delight. This smells like Nisio Narcotic Delight. Yeah, it's a very, very sweet scent. I love that, like, I got a freshness in the opening and I love that. I think if I were to wear, layer this, I would layer it with something a little fresher. Oh, in the bottom, such a good detail. Because this is a very strong, very sweet scent. I can imagine this having a really strong trail at the end. This is definitely my favorite so far. Sweet, fruity gourmand, packs a punch. The opening is really juicy and fresh and I love that opening, but it dries down very quickly to a more candied pineapple, which is pretty. Although I just have to say I love the freshness. I think I would definitely layer this with a citrus scent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really like this one. Okay, Latafa, okay. And the packaging is beautiful. That's definitely my favorite. The final one that they sent me is Yara, which I actually already own, so I'll go grab my bottle. Okay, I took a little bit of a break. I posted a video onto TikTok. Also, it is an ant. It is not a spider. Um, the more that I look at it, I can see that there's obviously only like four legs and the whole point of an arachnid is they have eight. So I went and grabbed some more of my Latafa fragrances that I have because I figure if I'm doing a Latafa video, I might as well feature all the fragrances that I own. So I grabbed more. So I'll go over the other ones that I have from the collection right now. So starting with Onsum Gold, this is a beautiful bottle. I love the like, anyways, I love the leaf that they have on here. And this is a stunning dupe of Oriana by Parfum de Marly. This is like a 10 out of 10 dupe. Um, super last, long lasting, very strong projecting. It is so similar to Oriana. Like one for one dupe is honestly incredible. I think the bottle's really pretty. And this is probably my favorite Latafa scent. So very brief description, obviously, but this is a really good one. Um, the next one that I have is Yara from Latafa, which they just sent me, but I already have this one. I love this fragrance. The first time I smelled it, I thought it was like, okay but honestly i've started craving it it's like this tropical fruity shampoo smell um it's a little bit like i've heard people say it smells like a strawberry milkshake and the thing is it doesn't but it does it doesn't smell like strawberry and it's not particularly like creamy or lactonic but there is a bit of a creaminess to it like when you've smelled it and you got familiar with the scent it's like it is a strawberry milkshake like it doesn't smell like a strawberry milkshake but it I like associate it, like I can, I'm picturing like it would look like a strawberry milkshake, but it doesn't smell like a strawberry milkshake if you get what I mean. Um, it's tropical, it's fruity, it's very plush. There is a little bit of a plasticky note to it. Um, it definitely smells cheap, like it smells like a celebrity fragrance. That said, it smells really good. It definitely gets me compliments. I'm a big fan of Yara. And that said, it was a grower, not a shower. I didn't love it when I first got it, but it grew on me for sure. I think especially because like, when the Barbie movie came out, I was like, oh my god, this is a pink bottle, I'm wearing this to Barbie movie, and then I developed, st I started developing good memories and good associations with this perfume, and so I like it a little better now, and I think that there's something to do with, like, when you have an emotional attachment to a fragrance, that changes your association with the scent, whereas, like, sometimes 
scent on its own is not the most objectively complex or high quality, but it can still smell great, and that's what this is, so big fan of this one. Another one that I don't have with me, but I have is Nebras, which smells exactly like Billie Eilish's fragrance, except it's a little stronger and it's a little less plasticky. Like, it actually smells higher quality than Billie Eilish's fragrance. It's super long-lasting, sweet, red berries, cacao, vanilla. I get mostly, like, a rummy vanilla scent. It does still have that, like, plastic baby doll head kind of synthetic note that's going on in Billie Eilish's fragrance. It's definitely like out of the Latafa sense in terms of the price point. It's a good fragrance, all things considered, I would say. Oh, another fragrance that I have, I have like a sample of it, is Latafa Hamra, which is the most beast mode long lasting fragrance that you will ever smell. It is so long lasting, so strong, so beast mode, and it smells really, really good. But knowing me, like that performance, I actually cannot put up with a scent that strong for that long. You know what I mean? Like it is so nice. It reminds me of like Christmas time and I think that my association with like Christmas I also associate with like family get-togethers and so I'm imagining like a maternal like someone you would look up to someone who would be caring for you like, It feels like it's gonna comfort me and I feel like I usually find my comfort from people that are older, you know things like that so there's that like safe comfort a little spicy a little Christmassy from the top of camera it's such a beautiful scent and I love it but I don't actually love it because it's too strong for me to wear it just smells really good so yeah yeah and now the first fragrance that I ever smelled from the Tafa was called Ragba. And I got this because it was super popular on YouTube and everyone was blind buying it. Said it was amazing. This fragrance cost like $20. Like it was very cheap. I bought it in quarantine. I didn't like it. This is the most skanky sour vanilla scent. And like the notes are just vanilla and oud. And this was kind of like one of the first oud fragrances I ever smelled. And I didn't realize how sour it was. At least like the one that I had was very off-putting. And I just had a decant of like someone's sample, so perhaps I had a fake, who knows? But yeah, I really did not find that this one worked for me. The final one that we have is Latafa Fakhar Rose. And this is a dupe for Lintrity from Givenchy. And it smells so strongly of these like Flintstones vitamins that I had when I was a kid. It's like a floral scent with a bit of like a screechy, sour, citrusy opening. It's a floral clean smell, like an almost a bit of gardenia. And it smells a lot like Lintrity, but not as wow, I don't think, but it's still a very good dupe if you're looking for that. Lindrity is not my favorite fragrance in the world, but this is a very good dupe for that one. Anyways, that is all the fragrances that I will talk to you about today. Let me know your favorite from Tafa or any other Arab perfume brands or just fragrances in general that you want me to smell. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, follow my Instagram. I have a lot more content there and I always am asking you what you want to see. So if you have any suggestions for future videos, follow my Instagram, DM me, comment, anything like that. I very much appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and I love you guys and I'll see you later. <laughs>